Hi, my name is Paul. I am a technical director at an IT company and I give Microsoft Edge 4 out of 5. For more reviews like this, please check in the description below. So, like most of us, well, most of us my age, we all start with Internet Explorer, or if you're really my age, you might have started with Netscape. The problem is, is that it wasn't great. It was there and it was on your computer, but it wasn't great. What we then started going is, let's, let's try and figure something else out. And then it was Firefox. And we said, oh, let's try Firefox. And that was better. And then Google said, we've got Google Chrome. And we went, oh, that's better. And then Microsoft came out and said, we've got Edge. And we went, what's different? And they said, well, it's not Google. It's Microsoft, but it works on the same thing. And I don't know if that's enough to sell me on going to Microsoft Edge. So companies have been restricted. They've got some legacy software that they might need to run, and they've been told they can only run it in Internet Explorer, which is a problem because Internet Explorer has been deprecated. It's, it's not around anymore. It's not being maintained. It's not being looked at anymore in terms of security updates. But Microsoft says, no, no, you can use Edge now, and you can use it, and you can have the compatibility with your old things, Internet Explorer 6 and, and things like that. And companies are like, woohoo, we can now have a proper browser, a security enabled browser that's running Chromium, which is based on the Chrome, well, which Chrome is based on. And they can have an updated and secure browser that they can still run their old legacy programs on. And that is a huge win. Now with Microsoft Edge, they now also have the ability to run um, synchronized passwords, uh, synchronized history. It ties into the Microsoft accounts. And that is where Microsoft Edge actually starts shining. You have a corporate that can be managed through your Active Directory or your Intune and things like that. And then you can also not have to have Google Chrome. The nice thing is, is that when you don't have Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge actually uses a lot less RAM. And that makes it a lot more exciting for clients and companies they don't have to upgrade their computers because they need 64 gigs of RAM to run Chrome. I'm joking, a little bit sarcastically, but sometimes it feels like that. You have decided you're going to take the leap. You're going to download Microsoft Edge. Good for you. How do you get started? Well, Google <laughs> or Bing Microsoft Edge. It might be on your computer already if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 and open it up. It then says, hey, would you like to make me default? And you go, yes, please. And then it says, would you like to bring in all your stuff from Google Chrome or from Firefox or from Internet Explorer? And you go, yes, please. And you're up and running. It's not difficult, but it does take a little bit of mm, elbow grease to get you there. It's not just click and, and you're there. It's click, you're there, and then you have to kind of figure it out a little bit. But you will be able to figure it out. So the question is, should you use Microsoft Edge? Should you take the leap? Maybe. If you are fully integrated into the Google environment and you're running Google Workspace and you've got all your Google everything tied in with an Android phone, then maybe not. If your company is running lots of Microsoft things, you're running Microsoft 365, then Edge is a good alternative to Google Chrome. It's much more integrated into your system than something like Firefox, and it definitely is something you should look at. If you are happy with Google Chrome, try it. Give it a bash, give it a day or two, see how it impacts your RAM usage, see how it impacts your productivity, and if you hate it, then go back. There's a lot of very similar things about Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, but definitely give it a bash.